Incompetent Cook. I'm the Incompetent Cook, aka Andrew Kadanak, and the man to my right needs no introduction. It's Rick Stein, it's one of the world's greatest chefs, and we're going to cook one of my favourite foods. It combines two things I love salty snacks and cheese. We cook some halloumi. Good stuff. Well, there's nothing to this, Andrew, as you know, so. Um, well, you haven't seen me cook. Oh, okay, well, let, I'll, I'll watch and maybe. Okay, I don't know. Right do much because you can do it all. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. So, so you've got halloumi, not, that's halloumi. That's halloumi. Okay. Yep. yep. You do see it says here, if you can get kefalateri cheese, but um, you haven't got that. No, no. Fine? No. It's just that little bit better. It, yeah, yeah, well, well <laughs> that's true. Look, I will disappoint but, you a lot during this video, okay, so fine. stick with me there. Uh, how big? So we, we'll cut it, we'll give it a bit there? Yeah, well, I mean, basically it wants to be sort of bite-sized pieces, so yeah. Okay. You want to cut them. Okay, now we have the induction pan over there. That's right. All set. So I'm just going to focus. This is, this, is, this is all the ingredients. It's ridiculously easy. I feel embarrassed because I'm... Well, no, no, I'm, I'm quite up. interested because um, I always like watching people cook the recipes I've written because quite often you, you, you miss something out that's blindingly obvious, leaving your poor... <laughs> Recipe reader a bit. No, so look, this is going to be good with this one. And it says here, this is the way to cook halloumi slices. It, is, it is. So it takes through the process here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip these halloumi slices in beaten egg. Yeah. Which I haven't beaten, so I just want to show you off and okay, no shell and everything like that. Yep. Yeah. Could have perhaps done with a slightly. Again, it's probably my fault. Maybe a bigger container for the egg. <laughs> Find them a bit difficult. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, no worry, yeah, that's that's I probably should have said in, a, a, in a shallow tray. Or look, it's like that. oh, yeah, no, I've had a shock of it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. So, right. what do we so we dip the halloumi in the beaten egg, yeah, then roll in the semolina, yeah, and and the, okay, <laughs> off you go, off you go. We're right. good. No, no, look. Be, for me to get in the way. I think you need to, or else that is going to blow up if I do anything right. worse. All right. Just another thought, but she doesn't say in the recipe, so, but it's probably a lot easier to put all the pieces in the beaten egg first, then all the pieces into the. Is this too big? It looks no, comedically that, that too big. That will be fine. That will okay. be fine. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do that. Just transfer them all across. Oh, yeah. But oh, I haven't written that. That's good. Nice. No, it's, it's fine. Look. You see, what I, Andrew, I have to say this, that what yeah. I sort of think, keeping the recipes as tight as possible, yeah. is I'll make assumptions, but I'm probably quite wrong that people would get that. It's easy to put everything in one bit and then move it to the other. I think otherwise, people will get it. You good can, chefs, people okay. that follow you. Some uh, people uh, like me. Otherwise, if you don't, you get your hands all, all messed up with the... Well, that's what I like about this, and I'll, I'll stress... Get the cookbook and you know this, but okay. this, this recipe is about six lines. It's fantastic. I know, I thing. love that. Yeah. It's, when I'm looking through cookery books, I must confess, I like to look at the short ones. <laughs> <laughs> short intention span. So well, this is it. So that so looks we, like that, that is that's fine. Appropriately gone through. That, I'd suggest then you put ah. that in a bigger the dish. Then you can put the whole lot in there this and is pick it. them out with your fingers, so you don't put all the extra yep. in there. Got gotcha. you ready to okay. rock and roll. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> so how about we put, we'll, I'll put half of them in just for, yeah, yeah, that, that, just I mean, so we're ready. Yeah, good. And I'm going to coat. That's it. So tell me where this recipe is from. This is a Greece recipe. Yeah, it's a Greek, recipe. yeah. I think I got it from northern Greece, actually, a place called Preveza. Um, but, I mean, there's lots of halloumi recipes, but I just think this is the best one because it looks so good. And I love that combination of s salty cheese yeah. with, with honey. It's, it's, it, it's a dream. It's going to be good. So. And with the black pistachios, but I know you've got ordinary pistachios. Not quite so good. Yeah. Could yeah. I get black? Well, there's, there's a combination of me being incompetent and lazy. Oh, right. So I literally just went to, went to go there and... Oh, fair enough. Fair I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, but is no. it going to work? It's still going to work? It's going to taste wonderful. Oh, you need, need a bit more oil, I think. A bit more oil? Yeah. Okay. Just trying to see how much I've got in there. I think, I think yeah, no, no, probably not enough. That'll be fine. That's my skill, actually. I do all the flair putting on a pan. That's really... And then it all goes downhill. Okay, so we're putting it in? Yeah. Yeah. Are we happy with that heat? Are you, oh, we're happy with the heat. We're not really happy with the frying pan because it seems to be done. I know! <laughs> so. This is... Yeah, that's an issue. Um, Should I... Uh, well, you, can, you can sort of shift uh, it around a bit. I just think that... Yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. The best part is I can write an angry letter of correspondence and say Rick Stein isn't happy with your sort of bit of <laughs> Sort it out. <laughs> and I'll listen to me. Yeah. Beautiful. Good. So do we want to talk a little bit, a bit more about that book while we're yeah. there? Because it is, God, it's a gorgeous book. I know, they've done beautiful. a great job in the production. i tell you what I really like is I only noticed this after a, a while, 
But actually, the cover's really nice too. Oh, yeah, 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 it, it is. But I mean, it, I think that's important. I'm not your big pot, just a bit hot. Well, you'd be all right if you keep turning it over. Because the other thing you need to watch with this, if you don't want to cook it too much, because otherwise it, it cheese just goes all floppy. But you're okay. fine at the moment. Fine. Oh. If it wasn't for you saying that, I'd be terrified right now. Maybe a bit more. Yeah. Bit more? Yeah. Okay. You want a bit of colour on that. It's gorgeous. So this, I love this dish, I must say. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, that's a giant juggling statement. Um, so we've got that. We've got our honey that we're going to drizzle over the top of That's it. right, yeah. Yeah. And my oregano. I mean, this is this is if you had a, a tip for all of my favourite ingredients, I'd yeah. go right here. Really? It's perfect. It's, it's, well, yeah. I mean, that, 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 it's just the making of it is, is the oregano and the sesame seeds. Thing. And, um, mm. It's so nice having a cheese you can cook like that. I was sort of thinking, you know, I did the last book with India. Yes. So they had that paneer. I think I'd sooner make that, you know, I did quite a few recipes like ch um, curries with paneer. I think halloumi, because the kefalateri cheese is better because it's got more flavour than paneer. It's only a personal thought. No, look, I, I feel like I've gone rogue. You're just, uh, I'm, I'm turning, oh, look at that. And Halloumi like just looks, looks so good. I know, I know. Good stuff. Oh, I think you can give them about another minute and yeah. then, we're, uh, then we're there. We're nearly the there. The trick is one. getting the, amount, the right amount of gooiness, but they don't want to be falling apart. Well, yeah. tell me why I, in the past, outside of blackening confident, have had lemon melt on them. Tell me, tell me how you, you just leave it cooking too long. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I might not have said that in the recipe. Well, no, so again, you assume that people are confident. Well, I see, yeah, yeah but I mean, this is, this is proving very interesting to me, but I say a couple of minutes, so... You've probably done that. Give it another yeah. 30 seconds and we're away. Oh, that's good. Look, I like. I don't give tips, but I'm sort of like a cautionary tale of books. Really? So you can look at me. It doesn't get worse than this. So you can <laughs> see the yardstick for how careful we have well, to be. Well, I'll tell you what. Th th when I'm doing the next book, I'll come over here. Yeah. We'll <laughs> rest rest I'll give you the rest of it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what a tomato <laughs> is. How interesting. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, wowie. I think you're ready to rock and roll. Are we? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to turn that off and hope yeah, it doesn't blow up in my face. I love these induction cookers. Yeah. You just got this. Though. Just got it. This is the food. So window. handy. But especially if you, you know, you've got to just do the occasional cooking. Yeah, with Rick Stein. You know, that's, that's, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. It's oh, amazing. Right, right. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I should, the, the I should put the oregano and the, the, the and the sesame seeds in, it, in the honey ready then. It's oh, okay. Yeah. Radio. Yeah. Yeah. Although it does say fusion. Yeah. <laughs> then you can put the whole lot on at once. Have I gone correct? Have I heard anything? Do you reckon that's enough? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And the uh, put them all in. The more the merrier, really. More? Oh, no, that's not. That's not. <laughs> Bit of black pepper. We'll drizzle them on. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, halloumi drizzled. That oh. wasn't the best choice of mine, really. No, the, no. The it's sesame oils, um, the sesame seeds. Have, it's quite. It's it's well, it has um, made the honey thicker than it should have. It has, it and has. I'll blame you, Rick. Stein, you can because I'm going against the recipe. But I suppose if I was doing it, if I had a pan on there, I'd just throw it. In. <laughs> we don't. Would you like a fork? No. It's fine. Oh. Alright, here we go. Do you know? That is a perfect snack. Oh, sweet, salty. That's amazing. Mm, lovely. Five minutes, and that recipe is literally six lines long. It's fantastic. Rick Stein, thank you so much for coming into Book Tape. I'll shake your hand, but let's right. elbow. We'll do the bang. That's how it works. Lovely. And, and you can get Rick Stein's new book from booktopia.com.au right now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>